In this video, we're gonna focus on American producers of cheese, uh, accoutrement, and charcuterie. Then we're gonna talk about what to pair these with. And we're gonna focus on Pinot Noir and Cabernet Sauvignon. But first, let's talk about our cheese. The first cheese I wanna mention is this beautiful, stark white, lovely cloud. This is called Humboldt Fog. This is out of Humboldt County, California from Cypress Grove. And you'll see that it has this beautiful line of ash in the middle and it has this blue rind on the outside of it. An absolutely gorgeous cheese. And of course too, if you take a look even a little closer around that rind, that's called a cream line. Humboldt Fog is an amazing cloud of enjoyment. Definitely suggest this. Next up, we want to talk about our Thomasville Tom. This is a raw cow's milk out of Thomasville, Georgia. This comes from all grass-fed cow's milk. And these cows, they live outside 365 days out of the year, all year long, and just munch on grass. It's a beautiful place and they make beautiful, beautiful cheeses. Next, this crazy guy right here, look at that rind. What in the heck is that? This cheese is called Barely Buzzed. This is out of the state of Utah, and it comes to us from Beehive. Uh, and what they've done here is they've taken a cheddar style cheese, and they rub the outside with lavender and coffee grinds. And it may sound a little odd, but it is absolutely amazing. It adds a little bit of a good kick uh, and a great deal of flavor to that cheese. Next up for the cheese, you're gonna see right here this beautiful blue cheese. This is Point Reyes Original Blue. This cheese comes out of Point Reyes, California uh, from a farmstead farm. And a farmstead farm means that only the milk from that farm goes into the cheese making process. Next, we're gonna talk about a little bit of an accoutrement. This is Savannah Bee Honey for Cheese. Now, they didn't tell these bees, hey bees, I need you to make some honey specifically for cheese. I wish it were that easy. But what they've done is they've selected this honey because it is a little bit lighter in flavor and it has a good, more runny consistency that it's much easier to pour. And that's why it's for cheese. And over here, you'll see this amazing speck. <laughs> this is so good. Speck is like prosciutto but I find it has a little bit more gamey flavor and absolutely beautiful. This comes to us from La Quercia. La Quercia is out of Iowa and they raise beautiful Heritage Berkshire pigs. So they have beautiful, uh, beautiful charcuterie. And other than that, this cracker right here. I love this little flatbread. This happens to come from Firehook. And this is just a great little cracker. It looks good on a board in a bowl, but also it's got a great crutch to it. Okay, so that's your introduction to cheese, and I know what you're thinking. Well, what about the wine? Well, here we go. I've got for us today our Pinot Noir. So, Pinot Noir, this is a beautiful red wine to go with cheese, because it is not as bold on all those tannins. Now, Pinot, the word itself, is a French word that's derived from words that meaning uh, pie. Uh, which really refers to the varietal of grape looking like a pine cone because the grapes are so bunched up. Kind of neat, I thought that was cool. And uh, Pinot grapes, they're grown around the world, but mostly in colder climates. And Pinots can, they also have a, a broad range of bouquets, flavors, and textures. So they can be a little bit all across the board, but they're still not too overly powerful. Uh, really thinking about this particular Pinot, Oh, that smells beautiful. This, this reminds me of scents of something like black cherries, even raspberries, or even blackberries. This is, <laughs> this is good. Okay, so Pinot Noir, talking about pairings with cheese. It's a lighter red, so we're gonna go with a little bit lighter flavors of our cheese. I think it's gonna be beautiful if you try this at home with your Humboldt Fog. Not only that, the Pinot is gonna hold up really well with this Thomasville Tom. The Thomasville Tom has great flavors, but it's not gonna be bold. And I think that's absolutely perfect. The next wine we're gonna talk about, Cabernet Savion. 
Now this of course is an extremely popular wine uh, and the grape can grow in a variety of climates. But one thing to remember about this wine is Cabernet Sauvignon, this is a bolder wine. This wine is going to be a little bit heavier on your tannins. So if you watched the first video, you'll remember that I said you got to have a bigger bolder cheese to go with these a little bit fuller, heavier tannin wines. So with that, we've got the Barely Buzzed. So Cabernet Sauvignon goes really well with cheddars more often than not because that good fatty cheddar on the palate really goes, you know, goes well with the tannins and don't let those tannins take over. And not only is it a cheddar style, but of course it has that coffee grinds on the outside of it. So it's got a little bit bolder flavor. It'll go great with the wine. And then of course, our blue cheese. The Point Reyes Original Blue, also gonna go great with the Cabernet Sauvignon. And if I were you at home, I'd give it a shot with the Pinot Noir, because more than likely, this is a beautiful blue, and it could go with both of them. I hope this enlightened you a little bit more with your knowledge on cheese and wines and how they pair well together. The thing to remember from this video, lighter reds, milder cheeses, bolder reds, bolder cheeses. Explore, inspire, create at home. GourmetDash.com